Radiation Shuffle is back in the end phase, trying to give us a better draw the next turn, and how are we getting over our own Septentrion? Relatively easy with Among Us, Spider. Greetings, Rigio Agar TDs here. With an uh, assumably new meta after the ban list, with Tierlemans entirely gone and branded almost out of sight, it actually felt better. I took the Sartex uh, out for the spin, and it felt... Well, it's not hopeless now. We do win some games, and I have approached promotion once. Although we quickly lose back, I would say the deck is now 50-50 in diamond. That is great news after, what, two months of not being able to do anything. As you can see, our deck is a complete mess. Well, I was in the process of tidying up, and then I realized if I have a bunch of different things in the deck, then I will have a bunch of different things in the hand. I won't have the old issue of drawing a full house. Or so I thought. Well, it did improve, but it doesn't completely prevent that. And have a, let's have a look at what we have here. Two maxis, I considered playing free because we don't mind drawing it on going second. We can normal summon it and make our favorite level 10 synchros off one single bear. Free Ash and cross out and called by just to stop Maxi because once we get Maxi, that's the death sentence. One Kumungus to out the uh, purely noir, pretty much the only reason it's here. Didn't want to run too much because one Kaiju is not enough against most boards. We do want our Lava Golems to do all the work. Three Lava Golems, really good card, no doubt. Second best card in the deck only because Alpha that goes with it is even better. Alpha can bounce Lava Golem and Kaijus just to reuse them or reuse both as just cost in the hand for our Asatics. Absolutely lovely. Fenrir is also a really good card as a cost for our Tributes and also banishes stuff face down. Useful against Mirror Jade, but usually Mirror Jade fires off somewhere first. Very painful anyway. And then our bear count. I think this is the first time I've cut down my bears to this little. It is a lot easier to break in terms of not having a single bear. But if we have a Fenrir or a Lava Golem and Alpha combo, we might make it without even starting our Asatic combo. If we clear our opponent's board hard enough, they probably die. And then the rest is just normal stuff. Ah yes, cross out. Our cross out targets are Imperm, Triple Attack, Max C, Ash, and probably Fenrir as well. Fenrir is flying absolutely everywhere, so this is also a good reason to play cross out. The main reason why Asatex feels slightly better now is mostly because of how weak our opponent has become. When I say how weak our opponent has become, they aren't exactly weak. But we still have a fighting chance. So if our hand wasn't that bad, we have something to play with. That's it for now. Let's head on to the replay that I have prepared. Today we have a replay from a match I had off camera. Our opponent is on Mikanko, the new deck that plays a lot of equipped spells, steals a lot of monsters, cannot be targeted by card effects, cannot be destroyed by card effects, and reflects battle damage so you can't destroy them by battle either. Very hard for us to deal with that, because we only rely on targeting effects. But what can we do? Nothing. This petty little trick of doing nothing against zero attack monsters means we get to live another turn. Our opponent does a lot of stuff that I don't understand here, just a bunch of equipped spells cycling each other, summons another monster with a ritual spell as well, don't think that's a good move because they took them so many cards just to put their ritual monsters on the field, although it does give them some equipped spells as well. The green guy here is the one that gives them targeting protection and is a problem for us most of the time but is not really that serious this time because if you look at our hand, we have something spectacular against this, this board. Stand by, main phase one. Boom, five cards cleared. Ah, feels so good. 
opponent adds back their double edged sword so they can do their same stuff next turn again while we get back our lava golem so we can do the same stuff again as well go back to fast forwarding they special summon a mechanical monster from their deck with the trap card and search and equip spell again i think they have pretty much every equip spell possible in their hand already now double edged sword makes both players take the battle damage involved in the battle but when our opponent is making us take all the battle damage it just doubles battle damage so if we take that attack directly we will die Megatana saved us with 700 defense. We have to lose the Megatana still. Bit of a pain. Oh yeah, speaking of which our opponent caught by Lava Golem, no idea why he did that. Alpha clears the board again because he doesn't target nor does he destroy. And that monster gets banished because it's summoned off the trap as well. Perfectly cleared his board. He draws us after we use departure. We call the buy and he is on two cards against a lot of us. Get fast forwarded here again. Just our normal Asatic combos, and we end on the Baron and uh, Septentrion because Grand Chariot didn't seem to do much against an empty field. Hindsight, Grand Chariot has targeting protection, and he's probably the better choice. Okay, board completed, and we finish the battle phase. Our opponent is only down for 1500 health now. They have two cards in the hand, three cards in the hand, that could have worked. And indeed it worked, because we tried to negate their rota here and trying to stop them from getting any monsters. Probably a good move, but with Mega Billis, I banished the wrong card. Instead of banishing the green equip spell, I banished the green monster, because I'm too afraid of that card. Huge mistake. Opponents dumps out the ritual, that has an effect that grabs an equip spell in the grave. We tried to stop that with Megatanus, hoping that would clear off all his equip spells on his ritual monsters, but then our opponent smartly equipped their equip spell onto our Baron instead. And Megatanus flips the ritual face down, does absolutely nothing, well not really entirely nothing, but not much. Radiation gets us our last draw. And then we try to pop the other equip spell because it will bounce our Baron if we don't do that. We successfully pop the equip spell, but then they activate the same UR again. That's goodbye to our Baron. At least we used it already. Opponent summons another monster. Where did that come from? Didn't really watch that. Steals our Septentrion, how dare you do that? And then deals 700 damage to us through battle reflection. Radiation Shuffle is back in the end phase, trying to give us a better draw the next turn, and how are we getting over our own Septentrion? Relatively easy with Among Us, Spider. And what's the better way to finish this game? Steal their monster and kill them in their own way. Revenge is such a sweet thing. Lava Golem Alpha, that is pretty much game. Well, we don't have any threat to them actually though. <laughs> they will lose everything but we will lose also everything because we have nothing to offer in the first place. Doka. End phase. Ah, okay. And to show them the perfect card for the scenario. Oh, departure. Haha. <laughs> the perfect draw. Easy lava golem. We have this in the bag. Misk. We'll hit, uh, use Caught By to hit the Pitched Misk. And then they probably surrender at this point. Yes! Perfect game. Well, our opponent had a really weird, not weird, really bad hand at the start, I guess. Shuffles Mega Polar. He is smart enough. But Fenrir is now big enough. Is it negated? It is. We just go into battle. Walk over Noir because he's now small. But it is not once per turn, right? It's not once per turn. Oh, uh, why? <laughs> small world. 
we will let that through. Actually, we have to let that through. There's nothing we can do. Why would you ask your own scholar? Free win. 